In 1971, Stephen Gaskin led a caravan of hippies from California to Tennessee. Their idealistic dream? Create a community of free thinkers who love each other and the environment. They succeeded. It's called The Farm, a world-renowned commune that has grown and changed through the years. But one thing remained the same, Gaskin himself. He stayed on the land in Lewis County until his death today at the age of 79. There's like a, a, a gated community of rich people, and we're like a gated community of, of not rich people. <laughs> Stephen Gaskin spoke with News Channel 5 in 1997, 26 years after landing on a parcel of 1,700 acres in Summertown. We were the largest hippie community in the country while we were still in the buses before we parked. They call it the farm, and it remains today. Gaskin called himself the group's spiritual teacher, not leader. The group of about 250 literally started with nothing and spent years building their commune. It's the, it's the most fun thing I ever got to do in my life. And I saw a long time ago the question was going to be is what happens to a hippie when they grow up. The hippies did grow up and have children. You had all the woods to go romp through. At its peak in the early 80s, 1,200 people lived on the farm. Can I put that on your charge? Yep. But a financial crisis forced residents to change their open style of living and sharing. Yeah, Some moved away, others stayed and got jobs, started businesses, and built their own homes. Still, Gaskin told us the changeover worked. We maintain our hippie thing, and, and we're not putting all of our thing into making money. The former Marine and college instructor helped to reinvent commune living with a focus on trust and a love of Mother Earth. It's where he remained for 43 years. It's where he lived and where he died. People laugh at idealism. Idealism is only being able to imagine that it could be better than this. There's no word on when funeral services might take place for Gaskin.